proud of you guys. This right here is a 2003 LTZ 400 that has a 434, 434 big board kit, 413. I don't know. I'll put a picture of the kit I bought. Um, this thing has been a struggle since the day I traded for it, but this is one of my dream quads. Yes, it is an LTZ, which is Suzuki, which didn't come with green plastic. This has KFX plastic, which is, it's staying that way. I like KFX. I like the green. I just didn't get a KFX at the time, okay? It's not my fault that there wasn't a KFX available that I could get while trading a 350 Warrior for. I traded my 2000. Three, yeah, 2003. Because 2004, they went to Raptors for Warriors. It went from a Warrior to a Raptor. So, my trade of my 2003 Yamaha Warrior 350. Really nice quad. I'll put a picture right here for this quad. This quad, me and Dad are getting running in this video. And it runs. And it, and I'm hoping, looking forward to taking it riding here real soon. Hope you guys enjoy the video. See you guys next time. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new. Notification bell. And welcome back, family. If you're the, if you're a regular subscriber, welcome back, family. I love you guys. You guys are fucking awesome. Alright you guys, if you guys are new here, this is my 2003 LTZ 400, KFX plastic of course, green being KFX, just got the head back, I'll show you the head in here in a minute, I'm going to drain the oil of, of the catch can, or the can, the, the little bottle thingy down there, the, I don't know, it does the thing, it puts oil to places that it needs to go, well exact term, but we're going to drain that. And I want to check lines because we filled that thing completely to the brim last time and none of it transferred to the engine at all. So we did fill the engine through a little hole inside of the jug where your timing chain sets. So yeah, it's over. Cylinder head is right here. Brand new Kimball white star for that every breathing you guys. I haven't took a puff of my inhaler yet. Um, new Kimball White stuff, as you guys can see. Light catches it right. Kimball White. They uh, surfaced the head. They surfaced it. Put um, two out of the four guides in. They said the other two looked good. So they just put two of the four in. Surfaced it. Cleaned it up. Um, he welded up. You guys can go back and look at the videos. There was a nick in one of these. And he actually welded that nick up. So without a doubt, it should still now. So let's get into the video. So this thing is pretty damn slow. That don't make sense. So we're going to screwdriver it. Okay. Baby, read the fine print I've got baggage and it's all Gucci. Don't get too attached to me. Everybody, yeah. I'm going to pull this line here. See that line? Right there. I'm going to pull that off. I just want to make sure everything's good to go. I do not want this thing to blow up again from whatever caused its issue. Could have been normal wear. Could have been something not getting oil. Could have been heat. So I pulled the skid plate to pull, of course, that line we were talking about, you guys. You guys ever think that's been off that quad? A lot of debris. Now, that really don't matter, all that debris and debris and mud and sand and everything that's caked up in there. Really don't matter. It's a skid plate. I'm still going to wash it out and get it cleaned out because I don't like that. So. Well, you guys, I pulled off the oil um, reservoir, as I'm going to call it. And, uh, yeah. Never a good sign when you use JB Weld to patch up uh, a hole. So, yeah, that just delayed this by a little bit. I want to see if I can find one of these. If not, I'll use this one, but I'd rather find one and that's good and not 
broke the dude because that's broke the dude so yeah yep that sucks dick you guys it's always something those fucking four alerts it's it's always something that's the way it goes though don't let nobody tell you that building shit's easy because it's always going to be something new unless you start with something that's new with no issues you're going to have issues so yeah nice jb walk touch all right you guys it's that time we're getting ready to start shimming valves now i may have to wait till tomorrow because a buddy of mine's asleep and he's got a shim kit that i'm gonna see if if these are wrong if i can get the right shims off him so yeah start shimming the ltz oh, yeah, head nice. oh yeah Nice. Dad nice. threw my valves, old valves away. Don't buy the forty dollar valve kit. Buy the. Uh, right here. He threw them in junk pile. There's no need to show them, Dad. Don't buy the forty dollar so cheap. They did say they would warranty them, though. I yeah, mean, I just haven't got a hold of them. They, they said they would warranty the valve. I mean, but don't get the cheap valve. Spend the two hundred dollars and buy the kit, Kimball White yeah. kit. Yeah. Oh yeah, you guys. Good thing I decided to pull it right here. That's completely plugged, solid in spots. So, yeah, it's going to be heavily cleaned. And then how often do you see these? It's not broken. And that's your front shroud. Yeah, it goes like that. Because your frame would be between the radiator and that. These are usually busted up and broken. This one's actually in really nice shape. I mean, it's a little, a little warped in some spots, but not broke. So I find that super, super super cool i mean it's not broke anywhere no the tabs are broke it just snaps together it just push locks together but how often do you see that you don't know, see that very often on these usually these things have been broken and beat up and it's actually pretty neat but yeah it's clogged solid like you're supposed to be able to hold it up to light see through it and you can't see through it see you can see through it right there you can't see through it right there you can see it in some spots but other spots it's just clogged with mud and probably sand this thing went to the badlands it's probably sand and mud and much other crap but i'll clean it up here's our new gauge i'm gonna put one in line too oh, but white's got this shit going on he was, he was right when the machine shop said to get it man. i'll trust the machine shop over anybody that's online so so what'd you do man huh? what'd you if it's if it's between 020 and 030 I, I say we do them on the fatter side, on the, on the tighter side. So, we'll go 25, 26 on them. Yeah. And so what we're doing, you guys, is we're re-shimming the valves because our buddy of mine actually lent me his kit. That's 25 and it's tight on that one. That one's going to be good. My buddy that drives that rides the YGF450, he actually loaned me his kit so I can get my little, shit little, done. A little snug on the 25, but if it's between, you don't want it clattering, you know what I mean? You don't mm -hmm. want it loud. You don't want it click, 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 click. So, I mean, 25 is pretty good on that one because the other shim I had in was too big. So, that one right there is right at 25. And if you're going to do this, get you guys some of the fucking ones that are bent that you can actually, you know, it's not straight filler gauges. I have a 24 up here. I guess I don't. I have 23, though. So, basically, that's how it is. You just you make three. So, I'm going to go one more smaller shim on that one. So basically, you make sure that your cam is fully up off the lobes, and you take a filler gauge, you shove it between your cap and your cam, and that'll tell you, you know. And you want you, you want both your valves at the same clearance. Yeah. You know Manufacturers I mean? give you a special clearance for these. Do their clearance. You just, you know, go off what they say. Oh, anybody else in there that says. I'm going right in the middle with it, and I hope it's not noisy. I could I could put I could I could have left the shim that I had well, in this a minute ago, but. You guys will hear it start up in the video, but if it's noisy, we'll pull the valve cover back off. We'll reshim it and go about it that way. Because I would have to go, I would have to put the same shim I had in it back in it. So okay. I'll bring you guys back when it is done. Here's what your shims look like on motorcycles and dirt bikes and so on and so forth. And if your caps don't pull out with a magnet, you got problems, folks. Yeah. Basically, these are different sizes different thicknesses i should say oh, so you got your size well you guys so we rolled over with compression gauge it has compression so hell yeah it's a win for this for this i mean still a lot to order um i lost somehow we always lose shit here because we're idiots but we lost the original timing tensioner spring and cap 
So I'll order one of them with my next round of parts for this. This thing will be running here. I, even with that, I'll get the oil gauge, the oil thing on it. And... All right, you guys. So I fucked up when I ordered this. And then I realized that the guy that was selling it was actually honest. He said it needed, it was stripped out. Your drain plug was stripped out. It needed re-drilled and tapped. So we're drilling it for three, three eighths by 16 using a five sixteenths drill bit and then three, three, sixteen, three eighths tap. You're going to have to squeeze the trigger. Oh, Exploring what I need Cause dozens of times I swear that I knew in the wisdom The wisdom, the wisdom was scanty Doesn't mean I was broken so open I gave and I gave until empty got Alrighty guys, something that has been bugging me On this four-wheeler since I got it Was this here, this fucking Foot peg That they've like rigged up A, a hill, hill rest on This bugs me, this this is ugly This is hideous, I don't, don't do this Just look, I'll show you how we're gonna fix it right here this was 50 bucks or 40 bucks it was maybe i think it was 30 or 40 bucks it might have been 50 bucks i don't i don't remember cheap enough this is the hill guard for this side this looks like shit that we're gonna fix that ugliness right there all righty you guys dad pulled out the i'm not asking because there's a couple stubborn bolts in the frame that probably have been in here for years. And it's off, you guys. I don't know what they did here, but look at these welds. Thank you. Nah, don't be fucking coming here with that bolt. It's hot. All right, you guys. Oil tank is going in for its final time. We bought, I bought new lines for it because that one was kinked. So bring guys back when it's installed. All right, you guys. So a lot's happened. <laughs> I got in the zone, got work, and didn't film a lot. Clutch covers back on. Hoses are now on it. These green hoses look awesome on this. Radiator's back in. I got to put the radiator shot on. I got to film that. Next thing I got to see is we'll be firing this thing up. And yeah, I don't like to film on this because these four wheeler videos don't go a lot of, like really good. You guys subscribe to see classic car stuff, not four wheeler stuff, which there's more four wheeler stuff than coming on different bikes and stuff. So if you do like this stuff, subscribe. I'm gonna get back to putting all my music. I gotta put say this. DMX, dude, it's so sad that he's dead because he was one of the greatest rappers, in my opinion, of all time. He's up there. Awesome, awesome rapper. Awesome. First start. <laughs> 